not really big on excuses, man. Because um, a lot of the stuff that I've accomplished, a lot of stuff that I've done, I wasn't supposed to do. And I, it's not negative stuff, it just was I'm not supposed to be where I'm at. Um, for example, I'm from um, the inner city of Detroit, born and raised, um, you know, lived there uh, until I was about 20 years old. Um, you know, growing up, you know, I had, a, I had, you know, I had a, a loving mother, you know, she always took care of me, always made sure uh, that everything was cool, because inside the house, everything was cool. But once I stepped outside of the house, that's when shit kind of got uh, weird, right? Because when I, I remember when I was, when I was young, young, like when we was, you know, we'd play football, because you play football on the street, and then when the cars come, you get on the grass, and then you come out because you're playing touch football. Anyway, I remember one summer, man, there was literally there was a crack house across the street, all across the street, all the way at the end of the block. Then there was another one on my side of the street at the end of the damn block. I don't know if they was like I had a, a damn team or what the hell they was doing, but anyway, uh. I remember one summer it got so bad that we couldn't even play football on the street because you know the 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 crackheads or the you know the people you know looking for dope they just kept on coming down the street, kept on down, kept on coming down the street, kept on coming down the street, right? So um, you know, it wasn't really no gangs, but it was it was a lot of violence just because of that shit. You know, there were people would come through shooting, police raiding them, and all this. Anyway, I'm saying that to say that one thing I probably wasn't supposed to do was graduate high school. You know, with having to deal with all that kind of stuff. Um, peer pressure, all this other stuff. So anyway, I graduated high school, uh, not at the top of my class, shit, not even in the middle, but <laughs> I made it out of there a bit. Uh, then after that, you know, I wasn't supposed to um, join the military. That wasn't even on my damn radar, but I went inside of the recruiter's office and, um, you know, I was like, hey man, you know, I, I want to, you know, join the military. I want nothing with gunner or rocket launcher and the, and the uh, job title. And he was like, well, what about IT? And I was like, mm, I guess. And that's just, you know, there's certain things just align. You know, just certain stuff is just set up for you. So anyway, shit, I got there um, or joined the military. Uh, was supposed to make it through basic training because the first day I was like, oh, what the hell have I done? Anyway, I made it through basic training. Um, I made um, E6, uh, which is a staff sergeant in six years. I deployed, came back safe. Um, and I wasn't supposed to do any of that. And then even with, then with you know, a lot of triumphs and successes, um, sometimes you have you know, obstacles, right? Because after I got back from Afghanistan, you know, some stuff going on over there. Uh, I got back and I had really bad anxiety, right? Always nervous, always like feeling like I was at the top of a damn roller coaster. Um, so I had anxiety, still got anxiety, really bad anxiety. Um, but I just never used, let it, you know, anyway. So after I got out of the military, I wasn't supposed to be able to transition. I tra my transition was super smooth, super smooth. You know, I had a, actually had a job before I even got out of the military. So I got out, I was teaching, you know, uh, the same damn thing I know I'm doing right now. I was teaching in the military. And then I transitioned out, uh, got a, um, a job teaching for a school, did that for two years. I wasn't supposed to be able to do that because like I said, I had, or have anxiety issues and shit and always feeling kind of weird but just not using that as an excuse like hey i gotta do what i gotta do it is what it is you know i got this issue and it's gonna be an issue seems like for shit the rest of my life so i might as well not let it you know what i'm saying overcome or you know uh shoot down my dreams anyway last thing i'd shown the hell was supposed to do was open up my own business like you know i wasn't supposed to have that amount of courage i wasn't supposed to believe in myself that much that I'm gonna say, I'm gonna quit this good ass job and uh, come up with an entire damn business, create an entire courses, you know, and expect people to actually enroll in it. So anyway, the purpose of this video is that everybody goes through things, right? Everybody has issues, everybody has obstacles, but don't allow those obstacles to just ruin your life and just take over, I mean, um, unless it's death or you have some kind of illness that you just can't, you know, get out of the bed and do nothing, a lot of shit is not an, it's not an excuse. You know, don't use it as a crush, man. Just, you know, put it in your damn uh, book bag, rucksack, whatever you want to call it, and just keep on rocking out, man, because you only get one shot at this, you know, at life. 
So if you have goals, if you have aspirations, you got to knock them out, man, because shit, man, I'm 34 and I was 12 years old, seemed like five minutes ago. So you have to not waste any time. So I'm going to stop running my mouth. Hopefully, you know, this helps somebody. Um, and like I said, it's not being um, that I'm not empathetic because I understand what you're going through, but I'm not about to show you any sympathy. I'll be, you know, I'll be empathetic, but not sympathetic. I mean, I just think that's the best way to go about it. And that's it. I'll see you guys in class.